<laughs> I'm Stephanie Whittles Wax. I'm the executive director of Rec Room Arts. And I'm Matt Kuhn, and I'm the artistic director. Rec Room Arts is a place where um, artists that are local and beyond can come in and create, develop new work. This is um, a, a space where you're going to see work that you're not going to be able to see anywhere else. It's everything. So you're going to come see a comedy show, um, a dance performance, music performance, a play. We really want to cater to artists who are emerging, up and coming, fringe. We want to cater to audiences who might not necessarily come to the theater. Um, a community. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A creative community. One of our missions with Rec Room Arts is to make this accessible to everyone. We want you to come early, socialize, walk into the theater, have that experience, come out, socialize more, talk about what you saw, that, and then come back the next day and do it again. We actually offer membership programs here. Like, this belongs to you. Absolutely. This, we, we are building a family, I feel like. I, I, was, I was very burnt out. Personally, I, I just felt like I needed, creatively, that I needed an outlet. Um, and I was just a little disenchanted with um, the options that were out there for me as somebody who is a patron of the arts. Um, I was performing theater in my living room. <laughs> And I wanted it the hell out of there. So did your wife. <laughs> yeah. It was in my house. It was a sense of like, hey, come over to this guy's house and see a show. And I wanted to continue that in here in Rec Room. And he and I met about this space a decade ago. Yeah. Uh, and talked about how great it would be to create a communal artist space mm -hmm. where you have training and you have performances and you like really creating this kind of community and then we were both like, okay, let's go get real jobs. <laughs> and we didn't, we didn't do that, obviously, because it didn't make sense at the time. I don't know if it, if it makes any more sense now, but... Absolutely not. <laughs> after, after 10 years you know, of life experience, you're like, well, let's give it a whirl. The arts business as an entrepreneur, creating something that doesn't exist, um, there, that it's totally insane. And we just got, for me at least, I got to a place where, well, might as well just do this insane thing. We had a vision for what we wanted. We couldn't really find a model for it. Right. So it's been really fun and horrible and stressful and like, like mind expanding and shrinking to create a new blueprint. I truly do feel like we're building a house. We're... I feel like we've birthed a child. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we're in this newborn uh, phase. Birthed still. a house. Yeah. <laughs> we've birthed a house. <laughs> We wanted to have all these local talents, like these amazing magical beings come and perform in our space and they couldn't afford it. They, even though we priced our rental fee lower than any other place in town, for an artist who's starting out, that's not an option. We're both educators, so we've taught you know, collectively for like decades. And so we wanted to take that kind of mentorship aspect of what we do and help artists who are just starting out to find their voice and find their audience and brand themselves and market themselves. And so we're giving artists 12 shows a year, once a month, so that they have time to repeat, reflect, and revise. Part of that is that sometimes it doesn't work. Sure. Sometimes the work doesn't work and you have to go back in and say mm -hmm. what happened and how can we make it better next time. You know, oftentimes artists will rent a space, they'll put up a performance and then not get a chance to go back in and do it again. Mm -hmm. So we're offering people the opportunity to come back again and again and again and keep putting stuff up and keep honing the craft so that at the end they have something pretty meaningful that they've gotten out of it and that our patrons have also gotten out of it. It's all great. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I think um, looking forward within this next year, we have an ambitious season that we're putting together and developing that programming, and it's going to be really amazing. But it's also fear, you know, it's fearful for me um, because it is ambitious. It's big. But that's but that's what's great about it. I mean, yeah. we we may fail. Sure. And that's that's part of it. Um, but I think like that it's a safe space in that way that you're. We're putting up our work and the, the, the 
artists and residents are putting up their work and visiting artists are putting up their work. And so there's just tons of it. So if you're an artist, if you're an audience member, if you're somebody who's just looking for a unique and unusual experience, please come down and check us out. Come get recreational. <laughs> Hashtag make stuff. Yeah. Come over to our newborn baby house. <laughs>